kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It's the motion of molecules and atom. So how fast a molecules are moving determines how much kinetic energy it has. The energy of motion. For example, let's take a look at water. What is the speed of the molecules of water? It's probably pretty slow. That's why they all condense together in a liquid form. Compared to gas, the molecules inside the gas is moving pretty fast. That's why they're not condensed and they're more free floating. So between water and gas, which one has more kinetic energy? That's right, gas has more kinetic energy because the molecules inside gas are moving faster at a faster rate compared to water. The measure of kinetic energy, so the measure of how fast the molecules are moving, is heat and temperature. Heat is the total amount of kinetic energy, whereas temperature is the average amount of kinetic energy. For example, if you have a swimmer in the ocean, her temperature will be higher than the ocean. So her average kinetic energy is higher than the ocean. But the ocean will have more heat than her because the ocean will have a total amount of kinetic energy higher than her. So the ocean has more total kinetic energy. So the ocean has more heat, whereas her temperature will probably be higher than the ocean. So now we go into the concept of water high specific heat. That means water can absorb a lot of heat. Compared to other objects, like for example a car on a hot summer day, the metal is going to feel much hotter, whereas water on a hot summer day, it's going to feel cool and not as hot. That's because metal and other objects, they reflect heat more. They don't absorb heat. So that's why when you touch them, you feel the reflection of the heat and it feels hot. I'll answer this question later. Let's take a look at water high specific heat on the effect of the world. So here we have a population map, which means uh, it's a map that shows you how many people live where. So some place that is lighter has lower population and as it gets darker then there's more population. So we look at the map, we notice that there is a darker population of people on the edge of the, uh, the land, for example, like the coastal area. Yes, so common sense and plain civilization do, does tell us that living near water is a good idea for survival. But now we're going to learn biologically why it's important to live near water. Well, for one thing, living near water, you have water to drink. In terms of water high specific heat, let's take a look at, for example, the coastal area. When the sun hits the coastal area, water absorbs most of the heat, therefore it cools down the land. And you might think that, you know, maybe during the day, if the water absorbs the heat and the land is cool, then at night it must be really cold. But actually that's not the case because what happened is at night, Water, when it absorbs all that heat in the ocean, it then reflects that heat back at night. So therefore, it keeps it warm. So that's why coastal area is very favored by plants and humans and animals because it's warm both during the day and the night. Compared to the inland, like in the middle of the U.S. or in the desert, stuff like that, the land is not good at absorbing the heat. So therefore, it reflects the heat a lot. So trees, they don't survive well, and then people who live there, you have to be able to tolerate the heat. So that's why water high specific heat is very important. It's able to absorb a lot of heat, and then later on it's able to return the heat during the night time. It's very important for living things to permit life. So we see how water high speci specific heat is important in the ocean. Where else is there a body of water that water plays an important role? That's right, the human body, our body, composed of a large amount of water. So we have to be able to absorb the large amount of heat that our body produces when we're active. Otherwise, we'll get pretty irritated. So you see the effect of water high specific heat. It's important for where we live, like in the coastal area, and also important for our body as well. So water is very important. This is just one of the many reasons why water is important. So before we even consider moving into Mars or other planets and stuff, we have to have 
a source of water. Not just any source of water, but a lot, lots of water, as much as the Earth have, in order for us to even survive. Okay, so let's go back to the question earlier about why metal is not good at absorbing heat and other stuff compared to water. So in an atom, when light energy, for example, the sun hits the atom, it's going to cause the electron to absorb the energy. Once the electron absorbs the energy, it's going to jump an energy level, and it's going to be a little bit further away from the nucleus. And then over time, it's going to jump back down to its original state. And at that time, it releases the energy that it absorbed earlier. So let's take this light bulb for an example. It was an atom. On the left, it absorbs the energy. And on the right, when it jumps back down and releases the energy, it releases the energy as both light and heat. Therefore, everything in the world, when it's hit by the light energy of the sun, the electron will then fall back down and release both light and heat. The light will reflect is the color that we see, for example, the red car or the white building. Those are the light that's being reflected by the electron. And also the heat is what you feel from this uh, object. In water, it has hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding, it's very flexible at the same time it's very strong. So when light energy from the sun hits the water molecules, it starts to slowly break away the hydrogen bond. But it takes a lot and lots of light energy from the sun in order to break away the hydrogen bond. So therefore, water can absorb a lot of heat. Compared to metal and all the other objects, they're not really good at absorbing heat because the rearrangement of the atom is very tight and compact. It's not very flexible like the hydrogen bond. Therefore, when the electron absorbs the light energy from the sun, it readily reflect that back the energy right away. So it reflects the heat back to you right away and then you feel the hot the heat from the object. And that's how water has high specific heat compared to other objects.